Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to Something Old, Something New Card Rips. I'm Lance, and I hope life's treating you well, and I hope this box treats me well. I got a Fanatics box of 2024 Top Series 2. This is actually, I bought four boxes this year. This will be the fourth one I've opened. I opened one off camera. I just opened two. They were kind of lackluster, so I'm going to open this one. If you're seeing this video, that's a good sign, because it means I finally found something I really wanted out of here. The first one, actually, I mean, they, were, they weren't terrible, but kind of specific on what I'm looking for this year. I want to get the... Uh, Teal or Aqua, not teal. Aqua base card parallel of Jordan Lawler. I uh, wouldn't mind hitting a lot of one of those redemptions either for the exclusive memorabilia. So they have like Gunnar Henderson autograph. Frank Thompson's got an autograph path. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, also, I haven't had this year. I haven't had any of the true color very uh, true photo variations or the team color match parallels. So that would be nice to find as well. If we can get a Jordan Lawler. Aqua base parallel, I'd be super happy. Here we go. Let's see what we can find. Putting the set together too, so there's a James Altman. I don't think I've seen him yet, so I needed that one. Isaac Paredes. Actually, I've never seen any of these cards. Drew, there's Drew Smile. That's pretty cool. I don't recognize that building in the back, but somebody might because that looks like it's on top of the hill. Looks like it should be some kind of a historic building. There's a Yamamoto rookie card, like Allen. There's a first parallel. Looks like it's a purple. $9.99. No blues. Tyrone Taylor. It's a Met blue. So not great, but not terrible. There's a nice one. Junior Cam Caminero in the Aqua Parallel. We'll take that. I really like the Aqua Parallel. I don't know if I like the Aqua Parallel like in any other year's design, but I think with the 24 2024 design, it looks really, really good. Uh, these are $29.99. And they're still available. Last year, last uh, series one, I bought three boxes. And I open them and I'm like, wow, I really like these aqua, or yeah, aqua parallels. I keep wanting to call them teal. And uh, and I went to buy some more and they were gone. It's funny though, they're twenty nine ninety nine. They're still on the MLB website, but I was just going on eBay and they're already, you know, some people are still. There's a five box lot and it's already up to like two seventy or something like that. And it's like you can just go online and buy. I don't know. Don't understand that. So, <laughs> but whatever. There's a Monterey on a Rivera, so it's got to be saves, right? Fifty three saves in two thousand four. Joe Nathan, 44. Pretty cool. I like how it puts the legends on the all-star cards this year. There's a Brian Abreu and another stars of MLB. Oh, maybe this will be the good box. I get all the good rookies in the Aqua Parallels. Brian, I actually haven't pulled any of the rookies in the Aqua Parallels yet. There's a Zach Neo, Neto. Basabi. Wilson Wilson, actually, I think this is the first uh, City to City I pulled out of. There's a nice one, a Mike Trout. Joe, there's a Jazz Chisholm Jr. Shout out to TCB, big Jazz Chisholm fan. There's a Mike Trout, home run challenge cards. And a Ty France, that's a nice looking card. Not doing all that well this year, but still a great looking card. There's a nice one, Bo Bichette. I don't think I've seen, pulled that one yet, so... Nice to finish that set up. It's Tristan McKenzie. There's a Clayton Kershaw. And a significant statistics of Brenton Doyle. 105.7 miles per hour. Fastest max throw from the outfield. Oh, another nice one. Look at that. To Mason Wynn in the Aqua. Yeah, this is way better than the other two boxes so far. As far as the Aquas go. I did pull two... No Number cards, yeah, pulled a green, an aqua, pulled several number cards, so I guess as far as that goes, it's pretty much on the same track, but the rookie pulls of Hobart have been way better. Miles Straw, Dylan Carlson, well, because they were non-existent in the other boxes. There's a Hunter Goodman in the retail blue, that's a nice looking card, Hunter Goodman, don't know much about him, but that's a sweet looking card. There's a Payton Smith. And the Sunny Gray stars of the MLB. That didn't look familiar either. I think I need that one for the set. Nick Cassianos. Price Miller. Let me know what uh, you guys have had uh, any success with. There's a P. Crow Armstrong. I haven't pulled his that card yet, so I needed that one for the set. I know hangers have been pretty big this Series 2. Actually, the thing I had with most luck with Series 1 was the Mega Boxes. There's a James Altman in the Aqua Parallel. Gold Cup, Spencer Strider. 
I haven't seen any hangers locally, but I mean, you can buy them online. It's not a big deal. If you want hangers, you can find them. There's a Nolan Jones Gold Cup. So I'm not sure what I, how I'm going to fill out my set. If I'm going to go to the Megas, try the Megas again. If I'm going to try to get some hangers. There's a Matt Olson in the Tops Chrome. Isaac Paredes in our Aqua. And a Trey Turner. Two packs left. So if we were doing a regular blast, we'd already be done because these have nine packs versus seven packs for a regular blaster. So like I said, there's five bucks more. You get the Aqua Parallels. You get a couple more packs. There's a Jordan Lawler base card. Oh, let's see if his Teal Parallel is in this pack. Alex Rodriguez around the horn. Nope. There's a Jacob Lopez. I'm getting a lot of rays in those Aqua Parallels. Last pack. You know, I haven't even seen one of the uh, Fanatics Redemptions pulled in there. It's supposed to not, I mean, they're kind of rare, but they're not super rare. Somebody, I was watching somebody's channel, and they said they saw one. There's a gold coming up, so we're going to get two numbered cards out of this blaster. And it's Tyrone Taylor. <laughs> well, look at that. Just matches perfectly, doesn't it? That's hilarious. There's a Blake's of Ball, probably, yep, Rainbow Foil. Our last Aqua is the Ozzy Albies. And a Zach Jailoff. So there you go. Let me know how the box. Like I said, that's that's probably the best one out of my four I pulled because I had, didn't. I was not hitting any rookies in the Aqua Parallels, which is basically what you're looking for when you buy these Fanatics boxes. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time.